All right, so we're doing a little showcase of this custom DIY e-bike. Now, this is a BBS HD that's quite modified. That's been basically drilled into this frame. Um, so there is a cutout made in the frame that allows the BBS HD to really nicely fit in there. It's running a 60 volt. It's a 60 volt, 44 amp hour battery. Uh, frame is Colvix. I believe it's uh, Q76R. And it's modified. Uh, swing on our arm is modified as well. So we got a really nice fork. Sorry, say that again. Quilt. 27 inch uh, front wheel. Okay. And 26 inch in the back. So it's a mullet off. And the frame, so you cut out the uh, cutout for the motor? Yep, it was cut out to fit the BBS HD in that, uh, in that location. Also, frame was reinforced with some plates and riveting to uh, make it stiffer because the cutout makes it a little bit weak. And then you made this heat sink. Heat sink is uh, from the computer world. It's just uh, bonded with a JB Weld and that really helps with the cooling BBS HD once you start pushing some amperage through it. Do you ever feel it and feel like that it's hot? Or That's feel that it's my hot? Uh, temperature sensor. That's your gauge? Yes, my gauge. I just yeah. touch it and if it's not too hot, it's good to go. And then the frame is like not super wide, right? So it's one cell thick. It it. It fits uh, 2170 cells. 2170 cells? Nice. Yes. What, what are you running for the cells? Is it 60 volt, 44 amp power? Yeah, it's a uh, Samsung 50Es. Okay. And then this is just throttle. And just then, throttle, nothing else. And then you've got a pretty neat key. Yeah, key is... It's an XD90. That's you said the key. That just that it's a break in the power line, and that just kind of continues it. Just it jumps it. Yeah. So it's as soon as that's in, it is live. It's turned on. You can put the strap on it if you want. So once you fly off the bike, it will pull the key out. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah, some really nice bicycle components. So it's. Uh, it's a bicycle. It's got kind of like a stealth stealth bomber vibe to it, but everything is bicycle components. Um, yeah, what were you saying about the, the rear derailleur? Uh, derailleur. Uh, as everybody knows, uh, to improve a chain line with BBS HD, you have to run 42 teeth, either a Luna Cycle or a Lecky uh, chain rings. And uh, to, get a, to get a thicker chain, I'm using an 8-speed uh, SRAM. And SRAM makes a specific for e-bikes uh, derailleur, EX1 Horizon, together with a shifter. And it uh, you can run um, wide ratio eight speed cassettes. Wow! Yeah, because I rode it and it's super smooth. The shifting is super smooth. Also, doesn't have uh, issues with uh, shifting while you're pushing quite a bit of power through it. And then the stem right here, the handlebar setup. Yeah, it's uh, it's modif uh, it's something of m my own making. Um, stem is uh, made on a dirt bike kind of style because it puts handlebars in the same plane as a steer do, unlike mountain bikes that are put handlebar in front of the steer do, and makes it a very good balance. Allows you to lean bike a lot and uh, makes it really comfortable on a single track. And then a downhill. Yeah, this is one of the cooler builds I've ever seen. And rode it, and 
riding it. It's got tons of power and it's super smooth and it's light. It's a very cool bike. Well, thank you for showcasing it. Looks pretty fun. This <laughs> thing rips. Oh, you definitely spent some time on it, eh? <laughs> yes. Yep. You're pretty comfortable. Yes. Well, look at that, guys. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. It's one of the cooler builds I've ever seen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to drop a comment. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you'd like to see. We want to hear about it. And if you want to watch another video, click on this one right here. Or if you want to see what kind of e-bike stuff that we've got, check out this link right here.